Previously on Headless. You can't pass on until you find your head. But again, I just needed directions. Okay, well, it's past the cemetery and to the left. You can't miss it. When heat is applied, it creates something new. That is legit. I never told you what happened to my mom, but my dad lied. He poisoned you? Why? I don't know. I was a great assistant. Juniper and the other sisters convene in the last place anyone would look for us. My hand, though shaky now, will not waver when the full moon beams through the glass as the calendar turns. Meet us back at my house tonight, and we'll have the world's weirdest scavenger hunt. It's a death certificate. For Cat. Says she died a year ago. Matilda have a dad to confront While well, Ick's learning new things with his pal Brom Van Brunt Judy is off at the morgue finding heads That's all we got for current story threads Excuse me. Who are you? Oh hey, uh, I'm the bard. I'm sort of this musical bridge to the audience. No, I mean... Where's the other guy? What other guy? The other Bart that, uh, that's been here since I got to town. Oh, yes, yes. Now I'm, I'm, I'm remembering. He is visiting his grandmother, who's very ill and lives far from here. Well, he never mentioned his grandmother was sick. Jeez, leave the guy alone, okay? My God, he's probably just visiting his grandmother! Wait, you, you, you said he was visiting his grandmother. I know I said that, because I just said it. No, first you said was, then you said probably. That's where he is, okay? Oh my God, it's just like, is that such a crime? No, it's not a crime. No one here has committed any crimes. I have to, I have to find Kat. So I distracted the autopsy tech by requesting an application and an interview. And long story short, I work at the morgue now. Well, congrats, but we can't do anything with that because we can't find Matilda. Oh, I took care of that too. I picked up more than just hitchhikers working with Matilda. Oh, come on. You were dead? Yeah, that old style finally got me. Man, Bard on Bard crime has been so out of control lately. Diedrich Knickerbocker returns from his tour. Visiting his grandmother, yes, I said it before. You all saw that part, so you know he really sucked. I think someone's upstairs. They literally murdered me! People use literally all the time now. It can mean anything. Well, you don't even play the ukulele! What's a ukulele? The 
Oh, come on. My hunch is they had help. Rumor has it your daughter is sweet on the crane boy. Oh, is that what the rumor is? I'll find them, don't you worry. You better. I'll be waiting right here. Any sign of him? No, all I could find was his bag and one of his Invisaligns. <gasps> we gotta find him before his teeth start to move. I think we're on our own here. We just need to figure out where Henrietta's head is. I've hidden on this very page a spell that requires no witch or mage. And that's all it says. Oh, it's a dead end. Well, time to write a sad song about those we've lost and we can wrap this up, right? Agreed. <sighs> when life gives you lemons, you gotta write a catchy folk song about it and then email Pitchfork pretending to be your own publicist. Then if they don't email back, you show up at their office with sandwiches. Everyone loves tuna. Except for Shirley. She's allergic and she went into anaphylactic shock. She passed. No, you don't. You zest the ever-living fudge out of some salmon. Somebody give me a lighter. Oh, that is dangerous and inconvenient. But it's gonna have to do. What are you doing? I am just doing some magic. <gasps> it's a map of Sleepy Hollow in the 1600s. Judy, you said you can find Baltus at any time, right? Yes. And I need you to find Baltus. Oh, like right now? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Morning, Absent Glory. This is one of those Sleepy Hollow ghost stories you haven't heard of. I don't suppose you've met your predecessor, Rip Van Winkle, yet, have you? No, I guess you wouldn't have. He has been locked in our guest bedroom for the past year. Kat, whatever this is, you don't have to do it. I quite literally do have to do it. Ichabod, if I don't, I die. Again. Don't look at me like that. Dr. Crayon called us. I know you know. I am technically dead. That's not possible. You're just not used to zombies looking so good. Is he dead? He is in a very, very deep sleep. Using his life force is the only way I can stay alive. But the spell only lasts a year, so each year I'll have to find someone new to put under. And this year, the perfect candidate walked into my life. New in town, no one to miss him. Thank you, Ichabod. Unhand my friend, you goblin! Oh, Cat! It's you! Oh, Ichabod, it's Cat! <laughs> Thank God! This sword rules. Where are we? What's going on? Are they doing like a sleep no more thing? Cat is dead. And Matilda is keeping her alive with a spell that sucks the life force out of people. Wow. You think you know the person you're married to. Then one day you turn around and they're a witch and they're helping a girl you used to date who it turns out is dead to stay alive by putting someone else into a magic spell. Is that like pretty much it? That's the gist. 
Brom, you almost drowned in a waterbed once, so how on earth did you know where to find us? Not gonna lie, I uh, didn't actually technically know I was looking for you. Uh, I decoded the diary that led me to Henrietta's head. I used that trick that you did with the lemon juice and the heat. The science thing. Yeah, be proud of me. Very proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Ichabod! The horseman's head is here? Sleeping Ivy. That's why it only grows here. She can't rest until she's reunited with her head. What is that? Stay here. No, oh, Cap, where are you going? Hun honey, Hun, are you playing I Can't Hear You? Because now's a really bad time for that game. Brom Bones and Ichabod ended up captured. One would be sacrificed and the other one raptured. That's when I saved their sorry asses. Oh my from God, just untie us. Wait, wait, let him finish. Through the forest so green, they made such haste. Even though their evil plan was messily paced, Matilda and Cat fled far from the scene. And so someone else could intervene, intervene, intervene. Oh, yeah. Who the hell are you? Hey, I am the new bard. I am a little more ska, a little less folk. Ew. What are you doing here? Distracting you? <gasps> You're killing people now? No loose ends. Come on. You know Google Maps? It was kind of like that, but it was printed out. This is why I told you to stay here! Okay, can we all just talk for a second? How did you die? What an odd bedtime story to request. Once upon a time, Rip Van Winkle decided to throw his hat into the ring for mayor. My father was not pleased, so last year at the Autumn Gala, he decided- It'll be quicker if I do this. Sure. An autumnal aura hung in the air. The townsfolk of Sleepy had nary a care. The mayor poured his rival a drink with a grin. But no one saw the poison within. But an angry young woman learned of something profound. That her dear mother Liz had not actually drowned. Baltus, not in the mood for this talk, told his daughter to cool it. Perhaps take a walk. And the poison took hold in an instant, my friends. And I think you know how this sad story ends. Katrina Van Tassel died that very night. Baltus called in a friend for a magical rite. For her spell to work, she'd need somebody's soul A life for a life, so I'm often told And Baltus, he knew who to pick for this plan His rival Van Winkle would be the best man And one evening our Rip was enticed Deep into the wood By a figure in a hood the magic, it worked, Cat was alive And long as Van Winkle lay sleeping, she'd thrive Matilda felt guilty, but this was her brand And a life without her was too bleak To comprehend That brings us up to speed. Thanks. <gasps> Matilda, how much time? Five minutes till midnight.
took a page out of your book, Judy. Trackers. Oh, oh, oh. They sure do come in handy. You can't just keep me in here. They haven't done anything wrong. Oh, Judy. You are so good at dealing with all the bureaucratic nonsense I hate. But now, you know too much. So what are you, what are you gonna do to me? Me? <laughs> Nothing. I'm everyone's favorite mayor. Unfortunately, I think that nosy newcomer Ichabod Crane will kill you and then skip town. He'll be missing after what my daughter has planned for him tonight. Ron, we have to find that head. You know I can't let you have that. Without the head, the ivy will disappear and I'll die. And you wouldn't want me to die, would you, Ichabod? Not after spending so much time trying to get in my pants. Uh, cat! Ah! Matilda! Get back! I can't! The full moon is in place! The moon? Monica mentioned the full moon beaming through the glass. Why? The lights, the stage, the floorboards, look! <laughs> We did it. <laughs> we finally found her. Head. So you're just gonna kill me? The same way you killed Aunt Terry? Oh, Anne, yeah. She was a very good assistant as well. A little too good. If only she hadn't stayed late that night. You're a monster. You're like, like Lord Farquaad, but worse. Oh, don't blame me. Blame Crayon. I've been paying him off ever since Kat's accidental death. Anne overheard him demanding more money. Poisoned her that very night. You got all that, babes? I think I've heard enough. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. My assistant's gone mad. She means to kill me. Mayor Van Tassel, you were under arrest for the murder of Ann Terry. What is this? How dare you? You have the right to remain totally owned. That was the babes. They told me to say that. Me? I'd never say it. I'm very professional. Get on the altar, Ichabod. Don't do it, Ick! Ow, oh, my bones! I have more of them than a normal person. Okay. Okay, I'm going. See you on the other side. Matilda, what are you waiting for? Start the incantation! Sorry, cat. Ripsicle? Oh my god! Oh, buddy! Oh. All right, I got it. Thank you, Brom. <laughs> I think there's someone else you might want to thank. As long as I've been in Sleepy Hollow, the Van Winkle family has fought for wisdom and fairness. I'm glad to see that will continue. <laughs> Who are you? I've been many people over the years. An explorer, a sorcerer, and a headless ghost. I'm Henrietta Hudson. I'm the founder of Sleepy Hollow. I'm so sorry. 
She was my best friend, and I, I thought I could save her without hurting anyone else. You couldn't have saved her. No one could. I know. The bishops have had incredible power since they arrived here in Sleepy Hollow. You have unlocked so little of what you're capable of. Henry and I were hired by the Dutch East India Company to find easterly passage to Asia. His ship was blown off course on his journey and ended up in Nova Scotia. But mine made it. When he finally arrived at what is now called the Hudson River, my colony was burgeoning. And his jealousy got the best of him. He found a willing co-conspirator in Annika Storms, my second in command, whose fear was matched only by her resentment for my power. And so I was erased from life and from history. Feels good to remember. This is as far as I go now. Goodbye, Henrietta. Ichabod Crane? Thank you. No. Thank you. Never really had friends before. Or a family. Now I have both. You have much more than that. You don't know what drew you to this place. In death, Annika Storms made amends to me through you, her most worthy descendant. Your grandmother and those that came before her carried the guilt of the Storm's name. But you, Ichabod Crane, found the strength you didn't know you had. Don't let Abraham play with that. So... Beautiful. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten in an entire year. It's been a few months since events have transpired. The horseman moved on once her head was acquired. That time to approve beef campaign posters, future mayor. All the time in the world. The town's a new place, with Henrietta now gone. A fresh chapter of ghosties and ghouls has begun. Like me, I'm a ghost now. was the first day at Sleepy Hollow High. Great. We started the semester off with a unit on astronomy. And my commute is super easy with gunpowder here. I got 10% off with the code Devlin. <laughs> Did you make any new friends? Brom, I know that you called the school and told them I have bed bugs so that no one would befriend me. It's just that we're best friends. Oh, Matilda, do you have Sage? The new landlord's coming by and I want to cleanse the place of negative energy. Is that... Is, is that a thing? And where were you all night, Missy? Raising the dead. Good girl. Now smile for the photo. Deep in the forest where ghouls hunt and wallow Is a town by the name of Sleepy Hollow Our dear horseman's tale is now at an end and into the ether she shall ascend. The friends Ichabod's made and the stories he'll tell 
If you come here too, you'll be under the spell.